Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rare Tractor Fever. We're here today in Sturgeon Lake, Minnesota at Trinity Dairy and we are going to check out, we're here with the men from Trinity Dairy here and we're going to check out a rare tractor that they've put together. Uh, and what model is this boys? A far, it's a Pharma B. Uh, we, got, we added a little muffler to it. We had this thing, I don't know what it's for. It's a, we, we put an engine stand for the axle mm -hmm. and the muffler. And then this is an old grinder mixer filter that we used to stand up the hood. Okay. Yeah, and we will paint the cans. And we use this to be the cover. Oh, that's your radiator cap there. And that's our and this is the you coolant. Got a crank start. Oh, you're going to put some coolant in it? And we just got this little bottle we found. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, fill it right up there. Keep it running cool. Uh, what uh, what year is this? Uh, 1953 maybe. 53. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. Got a couple. Oh, uh, does what engine does it have in it? Uh, four cylinder. Model. Four cylinder. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There we go. That's that's pretty nice. There's got a lot of power. <laughs> does it have a lot of power? Yeah, good amount. Yeah, good amount. It runs on paint. Runs on paint. Oh wow, that's that's pretty good I guess I don't know what's cheaper gas or paint these days but yep. you want to fire it up there we can hear how it runs oh boy she sounds pretty good oh wow well and I also made a little hitch for it but well you got a hitch on the back huh oh there perfect can you be a little a heavy big trailer full of big houses and they can you pull it and then we put two um paint cans it's just like because there's the transmission oil and oil tank and there's the gas tank oh wow but for our muffler down here there's like this there's a white plastic pipe in here a little and then some metal goes up a little there's some gas goes here the white stuff stops there and then we just put like a piece of ball tank Oh, okay. We'll put some gas in there, okay. Gas. Out of the Kool-Aid can. All right, well, that's a pretty impressive tractor. Good job there, you guys. Hopefully, we'll catch you in another episode. Bye. Bye. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Trinity Dairy. It's Friday, March 25th today. Cool out. Wind is just howling. A little snow flying. Um, but it's a good day to work on the uh, getting the silo unloader set up here. I've been since the last silo video, I've just been pitching out what we need the good feed by hand. Um, I had some frozen stuff that was still good, but frozen to the wall, so I wanted to get that leveled off, and then uh, wanted to have some extra help around. So my brother Paul's here now. He's in the barn. He's running uh, power. Got the uh, power winch lower and uh, unload her down right now and then I've got a, I don't know if you can see it but right I think about there I've got a just a paper towel taped onto the cable because we're about five doors down from the top now so that's about how far I've got to go so I can I can keep track of it on the rings where it's at there so I got it's only down about two doors now so Got a little ways to go yet, but um, keep running this down and then I'll get up there and we'll get some more video, get that set up. All right, we're up in the silo, getting down there now. About a door to go, which is about what I figured. So, uh, just wait for that to get down and then we can start setting her up. So what we're gonna have to do is this actually gotta be lowered all the way down so the lift cable gets slack in it. And then I've got to unhook it from this lift point. And then uh, he'll raise it back up so the cable's tight because it actually it hangs off of these 
bars. There's a three point, three point uh, holder there. So, uh, so that's what we're doing now. Once he gets this all the way down, then uh, I'll do that. He can raise it back up then some to tighten that up. Okay. Yeah, give us more. Will that drill pull it or not? Okay, it's getting tight now, so. That'll be good for now.
perfect. Right to the, just a little over the line. I don't know how long it'll stay in there, but. All right, we got it all hooked up, plugged in, got it all greased, gearbox is oiled. I put some oil on the bearings and spun it by hand a little bit. Um, kind of moved the weights around a little, try to balance it. I gotta come back up here once we fire it up. But I have to run down now and hook the cord back up to the switch down there because I had this cord on the other silo and I had moved back to this one because my other cord had gone bad. So um, I gotta hook that up and then I'll come back up and we'll try it out. All right, we're up in here again. I got the power hooked up. So we're gonna fire it up, let it run around a little and level things off and get it set. Make sure it's working like it's supposed to. Okay, go ahead and fire it up. I'm gonna let it make a couple of rounds. Go ahead and fire it up. I'm gonna let it make a couple of rounds before I call you probably so. I'm gonna adjust a couple things here and I'll come down. It seems to be running good. Okay. All right, well, it seems to be working good. Uh, I've gotta just see if I can adjust my spout over this way a little bit. It is hitting the door frame a little, but um, other than that, I think it's working pretty good. This time of the year now, it's warm enough. It's not gonna be freezing up to the walls anymore, so. Um, they work a lot better than if they're not getting any buildup on the walls. So anyway, I'm going to adjust this a little bit, and we'll head down and feed the cows. got it working feed coming down it's coming a little slow right now but it's still not perfectly leveled off yet I got to do some adjusting with the weights to get a good cone on the on the surface there so but anyway we're gonna get ready and feed cows so I want to thank everybody for watching and subscribing and please hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already um, check out our merch store down below there'll be a link in the description again thanks for watching and God bless